I, I, I witnessed this speech, and so did the rest of us, with the same incredulity that I witnessed the imagination behind uh, a Mozart concerto. It's, it says a lot, but I can remember this speech almost word for word 30 years later. He, he went on and he said, uh, it's well known that I come from Plymouth, and uh, my father uh, used to take us to a music hall on a Saturday morning, uh, and sometimes there was a conjurer, and this conjurer was one of the most brilliant conjurers uh, in the world. And he used to do all sorts of uh, tricks that were mind-boggling. And one day he, he said, ladies and gentlemen, um, I would like somebody here to produce a gold fob watch. Uh, and a gold fob watch was produced. And he said, and what's more, to add to this trick, we knew that it was being produced by somebody who was not uh, a stool pigeon for the, the conjurer. It was a real gold watch. And the conjurer said, and ladies and gentlemen, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this gold watch on this desk, I'm going to get this large wooden mallet, I'm going to bring the mallet down on the watch, the watch will smash, sprockets will go one way, springs will go another, and then I will utter a spell, and the watch will come back together again, and I can hand it uh, back uh, to its owner. It'll be perfect. So he said, let me take the watch. He put the watch on the uh, desk. He produced, says Michael Foote, the mallet. He brings a mallet down with a resounding whack. Sprockets go one way, cogs uh, go another way, winding wheels go a third, and the case goes a fourth way. He said, and then, said Michael Foote, there's a very, very long pause, and a longer pause. And then the conjurer turned to the audience and said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm really sorry, I've forgotten the rest of the trick. <laughs> And he then said, and of course, uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, the problem uh, for the Prime Minister and the Chancellor of the Exchequer is that they have forgotten the rest of the trick uh, and sat down. It was absolutely brilliant, and it was that speech uh, which uh, gave him uh, the Labour leadership. Uh, 